What's up, YouTube? This is a special video. I would say the appetizer video, perhaps. Celebrating 500 subscribers. It keeps going up and going down, you know, shedding the, shedding the, the dead weight. So some people are kind of dropping, but then I'm gaining a couple. So I thought I would do a room tour, a game room tour. I don't know if it's a game room, it's just a room tour. Never done one on this channel. Um, and uh, you might have seen some of my room and some of the videos that I've done. Guys come over, you see a sneak little peek, but I've never done a room tour ever on the channel. So I thought it'd be a good time. So MTV crib style, let's just go straight into bricky bricky, you know the exhibit, bricky bricky kind of thing. Someone edit that in later, but this is the room that I have lived many years at. Uh, we'll just start, you know, we'll go straight from the corner and I'll talk about kind of some stuff. Uh, we'll go above the door. All of these posters, like around the room, most of these are from old Nintendo Power magazines. I had a subscription for it, and they got the coolest freaking magazines that folded out from the... Uh, inside the magazine like th that was so cool and if you don't freaking believe me then guess what i'm right there was this giant even bigger one zelda twilight princess in the lead up to twilight princess they had all of these big posters um that nintendo power you can even see the logo back there hold on there it is you can kind of see it um man the hype for that was so big so getting this poster was such a big deal to me um each month and when we get in this other corner sneak peek you'll see the others that they did leading up to it very cool um this over here is my poster for a video that mega 64 did if you don't know who that is that's like my biggest influence um they make all of the jackass like skits uh involving video games on the internet uh very funny very good po podcast but on one of their recent merch uh, things, they sometimes give away these kind of secret prizes, and this was one of them, which was kind of this still shot uh, photograph from one of uh, the recent videos they did. This came as well as a, or no, I actually had to buy this as a separate poster for paid DLC expansion pack. So it was one of their like DVDs that kind of did like yearly. So pretty cool. I like that PS1 style. Had to have that poster up. Up here is. Kingdom Hearts 2 came out with a collector's edition, and it had this uh, plushie of one of the Heartless. Pretty cool. And it's sitting on, and I should do a video on this someday. It's its own little thing. Not too big, but uh, the Breaking Bad, you can kind of see the logo a little bit behind Yuna. That's the Breaking Bad um, limited edition, and that thing was pretty pricey, but it came with an apron. It came with a coin, which I'm going to show really quick. Because I just think it's just so neat. Uh, it's right here. But it came with this weird coin for Breaking Bad. Um, 2007, 2013. Great freaking show. Uh, had to get that. That fold, like, these kind of fold out. Like, these all, like, the Blu-rays kind of fold out. I don't know. Look it up. Uh, very cool. That is one of the first figures, like, outside of, like, you know, kids' toys, action figures I ever got was Yuna. Uh... So I got it up there. It's like, you know, homage. And that Skyrim Collector's Edition, one of the coolest collector's editions I have. Right here is all of my uh, Dragon Ball Z. I see a Power Ranger back there. There's a bunch of Power Ranger uh, that I have. Original OG Power Rangers. And these are two uh, of the new Amiibos from Mario Odyssey. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then me and my fiance actually dressed up like these for Halloween. And you can see it on one of our recent podcasts that I did dress up like fancy smancy uh, Mario. This is an old camera my fiance got me. Uh, the old brownie. Uh, this was from in the 50s. I want to say 55 or something. Uh, very cool. It actually still works. Um, I still need to get the film for it. But a big camera nut. So it's pretty cool. Some more collector's edition, Uncharted, Honestly, 15, Knocked is back there, Batman, and these are kind of my overflow amiibos, uh, except these two. These are just Darkwing Duck. 
And you got, uh, I think you got these with the Omega, Omega, Omega Ruby and uh, Alpha Sapphire. They got some dust on them. Just ignore that. These are Tales of Symphonia Collector's Edition. I got that, which I think I put on the channel. I think I did an unboxing of that back then. Uh, I think I did. Uh, but yeah, really cool Amiibos. Got the Zelda ones right here. This is one of the cooler ones I, I have. This 8-bit. They put the sword on the back. I thought that was a neat little touch. Uh, some Splatoon ones. Yeah, you get the picture. This giant Doom figure. Um, thanks to... he. I think he's only been in one reaction video, but my good buddy Alex got me that for my birthday. The collector's edition for Doom. Pretty cool. My parents got me these Star Wars figures. Any of these Star Wars figures, my dad and me bond over Star Wars. So, let's so get that. Uh, this is one another early figure I got. Love John Locke from Lost. Shout out. And uh, some more Overflow freaking Amiibos. And that cute little Ash from... Uh, or no, a Red. It's the character Red from uh, Pokemon. And, like I said, Star Wars stuff. Oh, Planet of the Apes back there, too. Oh, and... Uh, Mr. White himself in Heisenberg. Breaking bad. Down here we've got the last Guardian Collection Edition. Very freaking cool. Some Batman figures from the animated series. These are kind of just kind of various kind of figures. Uh, we got um, uh, Setsuki and Ryoko, I think it is. I don't know if that's Setsuki. That is Ryoko from Kill a Kill, the anime Kill a Kill. Check that out, and that freaking awesome Batman that they colored like the NES uh, Batman. Had to get that from NECA, really cool. And then, you know, uh, Gordon Freeman himself back there, chilling. Oh, and Indiana Jones, which I did do a review on that, I remember. Uh, some Mario stuff, some Dragon Quest figures, which I've had to buy twice now. Or, I got these for my birthday, around when the game came out around 05, and I loved these figures, and I think they got accidentally thrown away. So, so upset um, that I rebought those. You got Kramer from Seinfeld. Yoshi's eating dirt down there. Just some mugs. I think they're, <laughs> they no longer make mugs, but that's Hellboy and uh, Indiana Jones' dad. I forget his name right now, but some of that stuff. Some hats, you know, sometimes when I uh, go out, you gotta wear those hats. Shout out, uh, TV Dinner Tray. Oh, more posters up here. Uh, this is actually from a arcade near me. Some local artist painted that. That is Cyborg Ninja from Metal Gear Solid. I thought that was really cool. Um, this is another Mega 64 poster from their 10th anniversary Blu-ray collection. That is a great freaking deal. Great content in that. They remastered a lot of that stuff. Uh, looks great. Cool. This is from back in my skating days. I still try to skateboard sometimes, but this is Tony Hawk. One of the designs from that. My dad actually painted this on the wall. He's an artist. So, uh, uh, not like a, you know, legit, like, well, he's an artist, but it, you get the picture. That says, that's not his day job, but he's freaking awesome. He's really good at that. So, uh, he painted that. Shout out, dad. Light switch turns lights on. Um... Another Tony Hawk. This is a full deck, um, one to one, of one of uh, the decks that Tony Hawk has. As I said, I'm a huge Tony Hawk fan. You might have saw some of my uh, playthroughs. I guess they're hangouts now of the Tony Hawk series, and I'm still continuing through that. Those games. I love those freaking games a lot, and drove my love for skateboarding. Trash can. You throw trash in it. Um. We'll go, we'll go in here. So this is where the magic happens, basically. So this room is freaking small. Uh, it's very freaking small. Um, and I had another bed in here, and I had to get another shelf for all these action figures I was getting. So what happened was I basically had to sacrifice and say, okay, what gets to stay out and what gets hidden away? So fortunately, video games uh, got the boot. <laughs> So what happened was uh, I wanted to display the action figures. They look nice or whatever um, out here. But I had to put my collection in the closet. So this is where all of my games are at currently. They're all You can see Banjo-Kazooie peeking out there. Uh, even Night Trap and newer stuff. There's some records there I got. Um, 
this is all my, there's some overflow stuff up in here. Um, but I had to put everything in these bins and build these shelves. Like that's the only way I could get my collection. At first everything was kind of out and it was held to like get something out. Some stuff was tack stacked on it. And with humidity in these houses and stuff, I just didn't want to frick up like some of these cartridges. So I got these bins and put them in here. And I, I usually keep this door open uh, most of the time. So, it, you know, humidity crap isn't, you know, messing with these games. I don't want to like frick up uh, the game boxes or anything. Super Mario Brothers, you can see up there, just a bunch of cool different stuff. Um... Yeah, and I'll talk about that more in a second. But yeah, this is all my collection. I've got a lot of freaking games that I want to display, but size doesn't let me. Um, there's clothes. You know, you wear those. So jackets. And uh, down here is two Steam Links I got for a freaking, like, five bucks each during Black Friday. Some hue bulbs. And uh, I think there's some more hue bulbs in there. And this is all my action figure accessories, and there's more back there, and I think there's some other NES games in that, which uh, I, of course, can't get to. Next up is these, um, not these, but it is my glass detolf shelf. This is from uh, Ikea, and it is the nicest shelf I've seen for action figures. Uh, and it's very cheap. It's, it wasn't much. Um, water break. But you also can put a light in it. So I bought a light. And it's not the strongest thing in the world, but I'll show you. I'll show you how fancy this gets. I should have had this ready. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Boom. Pimp status. So this is where I keep my action figures that are, uh, you know, I'm really proud of, that I really want to show off. So we'll start here at the top. That is a Mega 64 poster reference to that. This is one of my favorite posters I own. And this is from PC Gamer uh, magazine, which I didn't get, but my dad sometimes would pick up uh, here and there. And this is from 98, and this is Laura Croft. Um, with perfect uh, non-gravity affected boobs with a gun. Love this freaking poster. It is so silly. Uh, gotta, had to put it up. This right here is from a artist named Angie Moto, I believe. Um, it's of Evangelion. If you haven't seen Evangelion, you're missing out. But uh, very cool poster. It is a quote from the end of Evangelion movie up there. As you can see, very highly recommended. This is from, I want to pull this out just so you guys can see it. See it. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. I got this from a Nintendo event that they had at Best Buy. And me and some of the guys were talking to this representative or whatever. And eventually I was like, can I just get that? Can I have that? And they're like, sure. Uh, less things for me to take in. So I was able to just get, he was just giving these like cardboard cutouts away. Uh, so just be nice to people and be kind and you might get stuff. So, uh, big Donkey Kong, some big Mario's, big Luigi's and medium sized Mario and Luigi up there holding up the, the top. We've got back here, we've got that Metal Gear Solid 5 limited edition. We got Bioshock limited edition. You got that figure in it. These are actually, um, let me pull this out. Well, let's, you know, behind the glass, behind the curtain. This is from the Nintendo Club. They cut it out, uh, or they uh, ended the club, and you have these, like, switch... I don't know what they're called, Nintendo Club points now. But before, you could actually save up these coins from uh, registering your games. So these... Uh, that I actually found at a half-price bookstore. That I actually bought, um, I think, on eBay. It's funny because, like, most of the stuff is, like, I didn't use the coins for, but I do have some other stuff somewhere that I use the coins for. Um, I think I missed that by just just a, a little bit, and they sold out of them. That is from the Majora's Mask Limited Edition. Pretty cool. Samus Fig. Um, um, Wind Waker Limited Edition. Majora's Mask. Um, Nindroid. These are Nindroids, these little chippy figures. This badge is from 
one of the last Best Buy events that Nintendo has done for E3. They have not done one since this, and that kind of is upsetting. This is from the Xeno Blade Chronicles X. It's a flash drive. Boom, right there. Uh, came with that. I thought that was kind of cool. Figma. Shouts out if you saw it in my older reviews for figures. Um, love Figma, and that is the Breath of the Wild Figma. This, um, I forgot where I even got this. Oh, this came with the Breath of the Wild uh, edition. Smash Bros. I think that was a Best Buy event thing, or actually for pre-ordering 3DS. That is the year of the Luigi coin. That, I forget where I got. Might have been from the same event I got that. But I don't remember. This is all of my Evangelions. I do have a complete, like, set of every single one. Even this freaking, like, I think this is Unit 4 or something that was only in the manga and you don't ever see it ever in the uh, series. But uh, there's all of that. Um, really like these a lot. Really cool. These are Revoltex. Uh, down here is a the main... Uh, course basically from this shelf and it is every single amiibo minus these basically but I have a complete set I think minus the Bayonetta the Cloud and that Karen's like player two ones but basically I have a uh, complete set of amiibos I am such an idiot I am such an idiot for these like I uh, suffered greatly um, to pre-order these when they came out and was on the subreddit. Shout out uh, Reddit. They had um, you know threads going when stuff when links would go up. I'm such a freaking moron for wasting time on these, but I love the look of them. They look like in Smash Brothers when you would get trophies. You know when you'd use the coins and stuff. So really like those. Uh, even though it was hell to get all these, but the crown jewel. Now, I don't know if that's crown jewel. These are more like overflow figures. You got Chewbacca over here. Lots. I have the complete set of Ratchet and Clank, including this one that I found out a couple years ago was rare. I don't know if it still is, but it's this, uh, I don't know, is it magma armor or something? Ratchet right there the, with the red. Uh, but that is the complete set of Ratchet and Clank. There's some Crash Bandicoot figures back there that are pretty rare. Um, yeah, and there's some like, I thought that was cool. It came with the boxes and stuff, but yeah, and Sonic. So that's that. Uh, we got the bed. It's where the, the gameplay happens, as they say. Um, good, bad, and the ugly. I got that on a trip with my parents to Tennessee. Shouts out Gatlinburg. Big giant poster. I was just I just saw the good, the bad, and the ugly for the first time around there. I thought that was a cool poster. And right here is the other Nintendo Power. Um, posters I talked about. So these were coming out every month leading up to the release, and I just, it was uh, crazy the hype for this freaking game. Pictures of me and my fiance, I thought this was funny. Uh, we did Beauty and Beast. I thought it was funny. This is a Oblivion poster from one of my game magazines, I don't remember. This cool Shadow of the Colossus. I thought that was really freaking cool to have. Because uh, there is Wanderer, as he, is, as he says. And we're about to have a remake. That's about the release this week. But that is Shadow of the Colossus poster. Dragon Quest VIII, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Another Super Mario Galaxy, Smash Brothers. That is also Smash Brothers. Another cool big giant one that they did for Nintendo Power. I thought that was really neat. Really cool. Um, we'll just go from the bottom, you know, start from the bottom, then we're there, you know, like that song. Got this Vizio TV that, oh my gosh, like, I freaking love Vizio. Um, I think they're the most affordable with the best quality. And I'm looking at a 4K one now, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if Santa brings it to me or something like that. But this is a 1080p one. I've had this since 20, I want to say like, 10 or no like 2012 maybe i don't know i don't remember but basically it is awesome really like this tv a lot 
sometimes it will just crash though. Very like I would say five percent of the time, <laughs> maybe less. The TV will just go black and it'll turn off and it just re will reset itself. And I think it's actually updating the firmware. So that's really cool. I don't give you a choice when that happens. These Logitech speakers I've had since 2003. They are monsters. Uh, they sound great and they were built to last. That era is over, but I still hold on to these. <laughs> so I hope they don't break. Humidifier, or humidity checker. So if humidity gets bad, I start pouring water all on myself. Uh, the remote for that. This is a wireless charger I got for my iPhone X. Very cool. Don't gotta look for stuff. SD card, shout out SD cards. Uh, we'll go, well, what's, what's else on this shelf before we go? Bottom, bottom. We started from the middle, now we're there, so I should have said. Two external hard drives. I do video work. Uh, gotta have big, big drives for these big videos. A uh, little vid box thing in down there that converts like videos from old devices. I'll show you that in a second. Um, there's my Mac. That is the new 2017 version. Uh, Retina 5K. It is a freaking monster. I love this thing. You PC viewers are screaming and punching your monitors. That's okay. I love this thing. And I dual boot to Windows for PC games. So I still, you know, I need a little Microsoft love to game. Coasters, shout out coasters. Got my fidget spinner. You know, you already know. Uh, I, I put this on my Twitter the other day, how stupid it was that you charge this thing from the bottom so you can't use it when it dies. You just have to not have it. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, the mic that I usually use, I use this for like voiceover work too. Uh, not like professional voiceover work, but if I'm doing like skits for, I have another channel and stuff or whatever, uh, I use this mic and I use it for the hangouts. Of course, you might've seen it in the corner. Toilet paper, shout out toilet paper. If you got a boogie, it'll help you. A little Bluetooth speaker back there. This is a screenshot. This is such a stupid thing. Um, so feel free to make fun of me. But that is from the Hideo tube. That's from Kojima Productions YouTube. Featured us on the video. Like us reacting to um, Hideo coming out. Like a goofy thing that I didn't even, you know, think about. I just, I'm still blown away that that happened. Like we got contacted by, it's such a stupid thing by Kojima Productions. It's not even the biggest thing, but... For the fact that, like, Kojima sat through something where we were reacted to him is surreal. It was very surreal, and because it's my favorite game director, and it just was really special to me. Um, this makes me look like a psychotic, but it's just, we just have a, uh, a, what's it called? Tradition, me and my fiance, just to take pictures over here, so that's what that is at Photo Booths. I think it's funny. Uh, Last Guardian book, shout out. This is really freaking good. It's like part guide on some stuff, part like, uh, what should I say? Part like art book and stuff. This is the Final Fantasy art book. This has all of the Final Fantasies up to 13, I think. Very freaking cool. Uh, it was very cheap. I paid like 25 bucks for it, I think. And it has like, it's three different books. Like I got it, I, I stole it basically. Amazon had it for a weird price. And water, shout out water, keeps you hydrated. Down here, some weights. Lifting weights, gotta, you know, these controllers are getting bigger, you gotta lift them. Down here is my switch. So this is kind of, this is the main stuff, and I'm gonna, I'll probably, you know, I talked about earlier, I would shout out some stuff about why everything's packed in the closet. This is my small little area I have for game consoles, and it looks like I'm a total Sony fanboy, which I partially am. But there's another reason for that because I just don't have a lot of room, you know. So Switch, this is the VR like kind of component thing. These PS, uh, PlayStation 4, PS4 like headset Bluetooth thing. Got for a steal of a deal on Amazon. Those are really nice. Uh, the PS4, the OG from launch. A VCR player, which is funny to some people, but I convert like VHS tapes for people sometimes. Um, and I just thought I would just have it out. Um, uh, some cords over there. I don't know what those are for. HDMI and stuff. 
the VR, the PSVR, which has a lot of freaking dust on it. I want to get back into this. Again, I just figured out I just have such small room. I was running into issues and it wasn't worth like the trouble. But I will be getting back into that uh, shortly. PlayStation 3 with lots of dust on it. It can play PS1 games and PS3 games. So it's good to have around. There's the subwoofer for, or the bass, whatever, uh, for the Logitech speakers up there. Keep your feet warm down here with that. So, uh, down here just crap. Camera equipment and stuff. And let's go for right here. Uh, this is my entire Metal Gear Solid Play Arts Kai. I've done reviews for some of these figures. Um, I had got some of them before I started the channel, so I did not review some of them. This is a Nendroid Metal Gear Solid Snake that they put out with the original Polygon head. Had to freaking get that. That was a must buy. These are Medicom, I think. Uh, Snake from Metal Gear Solid 4 and Vamp. This is a Figma and the rest, or, and there's a Medicom riding back there, pretty cool. And the rest are Player. It's Kai right here. Love this set. I usually don't try to get complete sets I, for most stuff. I only just try to get the, the figures I want. Oh, and outside of Power Rangers, I think I completed the set as well. Because it's Power Rangers. Like, you got to have all the Power Rangers, of course. Pfft. But with Metal Gear Solid, it's my favorite series of all time, and I did really enjoy these figures, so got a complete set. Darkwing Duck. I'll show a little bit more of the Metal Gear line there. Love those figures. Really freaking cool. Uh, uh, Player Arts Kai, uh, Laura Croft. Titus back there. These are Player Arts Kai right here. These three, uh, Titus, Yuna, and the Cloud Strife with the big giant buster sword. You know you got to get that. My friend Devin, shouts out Devin, got me these little Wind Waker uh, capsule toys. Pretty cool. There's the Midna from the Twilight Princess Collector's Edition. Some Kingdom Hearts, Player Arts Kai back there. This Breath of the Wild limited edition thing you've already seen, maybe. And um, Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan. And, of course, our beloved first president, uh, just as he was back then, uh, George Washington from Bioshock Infinite. That is a little doggy. Supposed to look like my uh, doggy I had. Uh, sugar. But, um, somebody got me that. Pretty cool. And there's Bioshock Infinite. Like, the tiniest freaking figures for... I think it's Clips? What are these? Um, what are these? I don't know. It says NECA on it. I don't know. It's... What game is this? Put it in that comment. Put it in that comment. Put it in that comment box. I don't know what those are. Now... The sleek thing that's that's floating in space is actually from Ikea. And you pull this open, and here are the games that I do have room for to display. And I will do a video um, sometime, but these are my PlayStation 3 games. And PS4 games right here. So I'll do a video on that. Got the Xbox, got my controllers up here. This controller is really cool. It was the same thing as that headphone set that I showed earlier, but it uh, was the PS1. Now, they had a PS1, like PS4, and I almost wanted to pre-order it, but it was like $400. Like, But I was I was so in love at the time with these classic PS1 throwback controllers. Like, it, it is just like the old PS1, which I am extremely nostalgic for. Held off. I was like, I just want the controller, and thank you, Sony, for hearing my cries. They did just put out the controller separately so got that got my busted ps3 controller this thing is destroyed um that's uh, all i got for ps3 <laughs> though controller wise um this is the snes mini just chilling up here they did a great one-to-one -one reproduction of the snes controllers tony hawk games i could not get back in the closet because it was a freaking mess so i just left them out here some checks uh don't you know don't go, try and steal them. I already used them. Uh, PS4 controller. The Switch thing. There's some VR move controllers. Tape measure. Shouts out. Measure stuff. Some more PS4 games here. And 
uh, ukulele, and this is actually a movie I made. Gas is Expensive 3 is something I made on my other channel, um, Nobber Productions. Um, so I do have another channel outside this gaming channel, but I made this movie with my friends, and we had these, these goofy skits that we made, Gas Expensive 1 and 2 series, and then we wanted to make a 3, and it just turned into like a big, giant thing. So that is free on YouTube for everybody to watch, but I gave everyone that like gave their time i actually like um like i printed out these personally and worked with a friend that i went to school with to make this cover and we made this whole cover and it's this whole legit thing and i did this when I was, uh it's 2011 i put this out but uh like these custom laser printed uh things I did. It's hard to see, but it's my friend's like mouth. But very proud of this. I think it's one of my things I'm most proud of that I've worked on. But you can see that if you're interested in guess ones of one through three on Nobber Productions. K-N-O-B-B-E-R if you're interested in that kind of thing. Uh, whatever floats your boat, it is on there. Frick. There's that ukulele thing I was not happy with. Twin Peaks, great series. Blu-ray set. That is... Um, some Switch games and Metroid, Samus Returns. Here's a little thing to hold crap in. Kindle, shouts out to Kindle if you like reading. The AirPods for the um, iPhone. And you can use them for Mac and stuff. I think for other stuff as well. They're just Bluetooth. This is one of the best things I own. <laughs> uh, they were extremely expensive. Got them as a Christmas present. But they... Uh, they, I use them daily. I like to use them all the time. And this is a Blu-ray burner. Burns some Blu-rays. Got some DV back there. DVD. DVDs. Sorry. Vitamins. Keep you, keep you well. Keep you doing good. And that is... What the frick? What happened to the tape measure? Who did that? Put in the comment if you see who did that. Oh, one last thing. This giant freaking poster. This goes all the way down, like, past... Like, right in here or something, I think it's where it goes to. But it is a ginormous, like, seven-foot poster. Eight, I don't know how long it is. But it is every... If you don't know what this is, this is, like, every single character in the Zelda series up to Twilight Princess. Like, all the way from the original, like, Zelda games, this artist did this. And it is unbelievable. It is the coolest poster I own, hands down. But I think that's it. I think that's it. So I really wanted to do this video for two reasons. One, I never showed this room off. I thought I would kind of, because I always talked about doing an amiibo kind of video maybe uh, at times. But I also wanted to do that because I will be moving soon. I'm not going to be here much longer. I am basically run out of room, as you saw, with having all my games in the closet and uh, I will be moving out of here soon to a new house that I will own. Um, and that's going to be kind of scary. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be like legit shelves and more room to actually put all of my belongings on. So I'm very, very excited about doing that. Um, I think it'll be really cool for the channel too. It'll be easier to film stuff or whatever there. But... In the meantime, I wanted to give you guys kind of a, a view of my world. And also kind of just like, this is like archival purposes for me. I think it's just really going to be something maybe cool. I go back and kind of look at like, how was my room? Like what, what was my kind of room? I would show this to my grandchildren, my grandchildren's grandchildren. They'll say, Papa, Grandpa, Papa, Grandpa Chuipo. I don't know why they have an accent now, but they would say... Hey, uh, I have an accent and I want to know why. Hey, Papa, Grandpa Dweep. <clears throat> Got that. Cut it here. Um, they'll say, you know, Grandpa Papa, show me your Metal Gear Solid Play Arts Kai collection, please. And I'll say, I got the vid right here. Let's go to the channel, log in. But yeah, thanks for watching. I think that was everything. Did I show you guys the flamethrower? Oh, I don't got that. Not yet. Uh, thanks for watching, and 
I will probably do a room tour maybe at the new place. How about that? Oh, I didn't say one thing. PSVR con- headset. Or camera. Frick. 